welcome back to Steer Rest 101. Uh, this week we're going to show y'all some stuff we're doing on the, uh, what we got we call the bungee cord. Uh, the reason we're doing this, I had a had a request from a buddy of mine, Bo Clark, and I happen to have his brother here with us, uh, thankfully, Josh Clark. Uh, both of them great steer wrestlers in my opinion. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to take jo uh, Josh, we're going to show you some of the stuff we're doing with this bungee cord to, and some of the stuff we're doing to move your hips back in your stance and move the steers back in your stance. Uh, this is real critical when we're talking about finishing cattle. Uh, the, you know, you can slide one and slide one, but if you don't finish good, you know, the clock's still ticking. Uh, I see a lot of two point falls where we, we like a one point fall and we'll show you some, some of the causes and effects for that. So uh, hopefully you get something out of this. Let us know. Give us some feedback when you get a chance. I want to show you a little tool that Rob Pierce and myself have been putting together. It's a, a bungee, a bungee rope we call it. And basically what it is, it's a, a series of bungees. It's got a safety cord right here. In other words, you can't pull this thing with just so far, and then it, then this is going to start sliding. If you will, Josh, if you'll hold that out for me, as you notice, the, there you go, and and it's got enough slack in it so that you can take advantage of your bungee while we're doing this these drills but yet if, if it gets out here extended and if you want to dry, pull it behind a tractor then it's going to probably extend out to where the rope's pulling you and so you can use it for both uh, in the past we've just used the bungee uh, stationary but this allows to use it on a moving tractor which is a whole lot better uh, it's pretty sim pretty simple but uh, actually very effective when you say yes. so uh, you know I, I would recommend that all of you you know, try to try to build one or, or get one of these bungees. Uh, I think we're going to start producing them, and uh, you know, I think it's going to be something that I know I, we've got probably ten or twelve guys out there now on the pro road that are taking them and using them. And I think Josh is one of them. He he's got one of these in his truck, and uh, and he uses this like when he's at off on the road. It's hard to find good practice. It's hard. I mean, he's he's got a lot of days during the year, so it's a great tool for him to go and just just. You know, tied to we got tied the fence here, tied to the back of a truck, and just to get a good little workout. And you can actually build up a pretty good sweat with this. Uh, we worked out on it a little bit earlier today and got a pretty good little sweat out of it. So it's really working the legs and allowing you to work the legs. I'm gonna get, let Josh hit in his stance right here. And look, here's the, here's what happens to about 98% of the bulldogs. They'll slide the steer really well, and then when they go to the nose. The old style of going to the nose, or what, what we what we used to teach was, hey, just reach down there and get it, okay? Now watch where his hips went. He went hips went straight up. And also, the stick didn't do anything. So in other words, the head didn't do anything. He didn't move that steer back in the stance at all. So in other words, he, he's given up the slide. that He's just worked so hard to, to slide the steer. He's given that up. So now he's back, and he's given it up. He's gone forward. Now it's also, he's straightened this right leg out. He's got no power at all. Okay, so let's go back. We want to go back now, and, and here's where, where we want. Okay, first of all, I want you to notice he's in his slide. He's looking straight down that pin, okay? He's taking that steer somewhere, okay? Not looking down at his feet, not, not, as, not at the ground in front of him. He's actually sliding that steer. He wants to take that steer somewhere. He's good and square. Everything looks good. Now, he's sliding the steer really well. Now, here's what he want, I want him to do. When he starts to, get to the, go to the nose, Watch what the stick does. See, it actually, if I put my hand right there, and that's a good way for if somebody's coaching you yeah. or helping you, just keep, keep your hand, yeah, go. Now see, he's moving that steer back in his stance at least six to eight inches every time, okay? Now, that's what, and I'm gonna show you, do, do it again for me, Josh. Okay, now, I'm, I'm putting pressure right up here on, on, his, on his hip, okay? And I'm, I'm actually mashing him pretty good. Now go to the nose, Josh, it moved me it brings that steer over you, not around you, okay? Which is very important. The old styles, let me see it just a second, Josh, and we'll show you something. Mm -hmm. The old styles were we pull, and watch where my shoulders go. We pull the shoulders right here, nose comes right here. Now we've got nothing. We've got, you know, we can break the waist, but we got to let the steer, if it, you would, it, you be the steer's hip, Josh. We're sliding the steer, we're sliding the steer. Now come around me as I do this. Now, he comes, that steer's hips comes all the way around here. I still hadn't thrown him, okay? He's still on his feet, so I still hadn't thrown him. Now I've got to get the nose. Where do you think I'm going with the nose? Back, back over his shoulder. And that's a big problem in it. Yeah. Because what happens when you go back over the shoulder, Josh? Two-point slow fall. 
two point slow fall. Okay, in other words, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip. Now, what he was doing, go ahead, you take it. Now, I want to show you where the hip of the steer is going because here's what we're going to do the motor of this steer is what we're throwing, motor's in the back end, not the front end. All right, go, drive, and hit right here. Okay, so in other words, we're taking that hip of that steer, we're letting our hip, our letting our body and our core drive that steer over us and we go and we go down in there now where are you going to take the nose go ahead and get the nose nose ear down and he's going to take it and he's going to tweak it right there do it again just take it all right drive ear down and go to the nose now see he takes that steer out not back over his right shoulder okay which that's so much more effective and you get that clean fall. Now the old style of bulldog and also, and I, I'm telling you guys this because the, the way we do it now, we actually, and, and the old style was, and we were taught this, we, to lift, really lift. Put the shoulder out, really lift them cattle, get their front end off the ground, and what do you think that did to their back end? It put it in the ground. It actually, we were driving hips down, picking, picking the steer up, and so, it, it was hard to clean them out. In other words, if the steer didn't have a whole lot of action, it was hard to get any kind of fall out of them. And so it's kind of backwards of what we teach now. What we teach now is to take that steer and go, and we're taking him down in the front end, driving him back and taking him down in the front end, and what's, and that lifts his back. So when that steer comes over, his back end's up in the air. And so now it's just, it's you're basically sending the steer instead of asking the steer to come around you. You actually send him over you. And uh, I, I'll tell you, uh, probably there's uh, Casey Jones was a master of it, you know, years ago. And I, I watched him do it a good bit and uh, kind of learned from watching him in the 10 man at Roy Duval. Uh, He's one of the smallest guys there and was one of the most e efficient, effective guys at the, at the 10 man deal. Won it several years, you know. And, and I watched him and I was, I was trying to figure out how he was throwing those bigger steers better than some of the bigger guys because they were doing that and actually stopping the steer and having to throw the steer back to his, take the power back and he was not doing that what he was doing was driving him hips the power was coming right the nose also the nose was coming right into his bread basket here into his core he was taking that nose and pulling it straight out and those steers were really hit so that's kind of where that all uh, evolved from and uh you know i was uh just having to pick up on it and so that's that's basically, I mean, we talked to Tyler Wagsback and Rowdy Parrott and Josh and uh, most of our guys out there, that's exactly what they're doing to clean those steers up. You know, I've had guys that drive here and say, hey, why are my steers hitting twice and your steers are hitting once? And I, it takes me about five minutes to see what they're doing on this bungee because I can actually replicate it by this bungee. Now, let me show you a little drill. I'm going to show you a little drill that we do. If Josh got any legs left, because we've been working pretty hard out here, and he's just coming back off a little pec injury. So I want to show you something, though, uh, of, of something that you can do to work yourself. All right, Josh, we'll get you back in your stance. Okay, yeah, let's let's tighten this up. We want to get a lot of friction right here, because, yeah, go ahead and get it off. Okay, now, what I want you to do is go down a little bit. Down, stop right there. You're sliding the steer. Down a little bit. Still in your slide. Down a little bit, still in your slide. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. See how he's starting to shake a little bit? Down a little bit, and they go all the way down. Go all the way down, hips down on the ground. Now, right here, he's probably wore out, so I'm gonna help him a little bit here. Now, he's cramping a little bit, so we get right here, and we come back up, okay? Now, here's the deal. I mean, this guy's been working all day, and we probably want him out, but, hey, I, I'm, I'm telling you, you can tell, you can ask him. What I'm trying to do there is create an angle in that leg and never get it up, give it up. I'm, I'm never want him to give that right, the angle in that right leg up. So when he does, uh, if you if you don't, if you're not cramping too bad, mm -hmm. all right. I want to watch. I want you to watch and just don't don't hold it any this time. Just go all the way down. When he goes down in here this time, I'm trying to create an angle in his knee. And and what I mean by that, I want him to create that angle that's comfortable to him, that's, I mean, every guy's right, different size and everything, but whenever that he creates that angle in his knee and that bend in his knee, 
I want him to maintain that all the way from bottom to top. Uh, so many times you'll watch bull augers, and what happens is they'll slide their steer, then about the time they start to the nose, they'll collapse their knees and they'll squat and they'll go the nose. Go the nose. How, how many times, I mean, I, I've seen guys do that over and over, and they'll slide, 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 have a great bend in their knee, and then all of a sudden they'll do this and they'll go down and get the nose like this. It's kind of a squat motion, but their hips are really collapsing on them. And so what I want to show you is how, how firm and how correct his knees are and his legs are. We, we always turn that toe to the inside and float that left knee. And that's what he does best. He's got a big wide base. He's a big guy, so he needs that big wide base. Okay, so let's go back down. Let's do it. All right. Now watch the angle. The angle of this knee is what I want you to concentrate on. It's going down, 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 going all the way down. You see the angle never changes. Now I'm going to help him up a little bit, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Angle never changes. Watch as he goes down, like he can throw a steer right there, right there, right there, right there. Now, as he's all the way down, now, watch the angle of his knee as he comes back up, all the way through. So, what it is, it's a build, it's something that you build on, you know. And you can say, well, I don't do all that. Well, good, don't do it. I mean, you know, these guys are. This, this, I mean, the consistency there, if you know what your legs are doing, know what your feet are doing, consistency in that slide, then your finish is going to be better. Wouldn't you agree with that? And easier. Josh, yeah. a lot easier? Easier and better. I want to let Josh talk to you a little bit because he's been out here with us a good bit. And, uh, I mean, tell him about the culture, about what we do, and kind of the culture about how you throw cattle. It's very similar to what, what we train here, and, uh, and it kind of works well, I think. Yeah, when I came here, we tweaked a few little things. Uh, I would say the absolute biggest, most important thing we did is we widened my base out, uh, working on this bungee cord with that and learning to keep my eyes up and going down the pen, taking these steers somewhere. I gained 100% more control of cattle, uh, whether we were at Cheyenne or, you know, a little three second rodeo, having control of the steer and being able to go get that nose deep. And, and it just, um, once I got control of cattle, it made it so much easier to get a good clean quick finish you know the nose driving my hips back that nose was coming to me I mean, it made it still work but a lot easier and, uh, and, and like I said I would say my number one biggest thing that we changed was widening my base out and getting control of my legs and then control the cattle and I really think uh, Josh has done just what he's saying and the culture change was from bulldogging from here up and that's yeah. from shoulders turn and all that stuff from bulldogging from here down, and that's actually using your core to throw these steers down. So much stronger, so much faster. I mean, you know, if uh, if you're, and, and look, everybody says we slide steers a long way. I don't think we slide steers anymore because you're actually getting in the ground and staying in the ground right. and using, using your core better. Uh, but uh, I can tell you, you can slide one a little bit further and still get the better results than if you're, if you're not. And that, yeah. and that's the finish is everything. 